Hi. Hello. Um, I brought these, but clearly. No, they're great. <laughs> they're great. I'm, I'm sorry about not ringing back. The whole two names concept was totally too much for my flatmate's pea sized intellect. No, it's a stupid privacy thing. I always pick a cartoon character last time I was Mrs. Bambi. <laughs> Everything all right? Yes, thank you. And you're from uh, Horse and Hound? Good. That's so. Well. So, uh, uh, I'll just fire away then, shall I? Right. Uh, the film's great, and um, I just w was wondering whether you ever thought of having um, more uh, horses in it. <clears throat> uh, well, we would have liked to, but it was um, difficult, obviously, being set in space. Space, right, yeah, yeah, obviously, very difficult. I'm so sorry, I, I arrived outside, they thrust this thing into my hand, I didn't... No, it's my fault, I thought this would all be over by now. I just wanted to sort of apologize for the kissing thing. I seriously don't know what came over me, and I just wanted to make sure that you were fine about it. Yeah, 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 absolutely fine. Do remember that uh, Miss Scott is also keen to talk about her next project, which is um, shooting later in the summer. Ah, yes. Excellent. Excellent. Any horses in that one? Or hounds, for that matter. Our readers are equally intrigued by both species. It takes place on a submarine. Or bad luck. But, um, if there were horses in it, would you be riding them or would you be getting a, a stunt horse double man thing? <laughs> I am a complete moron. I apologize. I, this is very weird. It's the sort of thing that happens in, in dreams, not in real life. Um, I mean, Good dreams. It's uh, it's a dream, in fact, uh, to see you again. What happens next in the dream? I suppose in the uh, dream dream scenario, I just uh, change my personality because you can do that in dreams and um, walk over and. Uh, Kiss the girl, but uh, time's up, I'm afraid. Did you get what you wanted? Um, nearly, nearly. Well, maybe just one last question. Sure. <clears throat> right, right. Are you? Is it tonight? Yes. Right. Right. Come in. Well, <clears throat> it was nice to meet you. Yes, and you. Surreal, but nice. Thank you. You are Horse and Hounds' favorite actress. Mm. You and Black Beauty. Tied. Hi. Hello. Um, I brought these, but clearly... No, they're great. <laughs> they're great. I'm, I'm sorry about not ringing back. The whole 
two names concept was totally too much for my flatmate's pea-sized intellect. No, it's a stupid privacy thing. I always pick a cartoon character last time I was Mrs. Bambi. <laughs> Everything all right? Yes, thank you. And you're from uh, Horse and Hound? That's so. So, uh, um, I'll just fire away then, shall I? Right. Uh, the film's great, and, um, I just w was wondering whether you ever thought of having, um, more, uh, horses in it. <clears throat> uh, well, we would have liked to, but it was, um, difficult, obviously, being set in space. Space, right, yeah, yeah, obviously, very difficult. I'm so sorry, I, I arrived outside, they thrust this thing into my hand, I didn't... No, it's my fault, I thought this would all be over by now. I just wanted to sort of apologize for the kissing thing. I seriously don't know what came over me, and I just wanted to make sure that you were fine about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely fine. You do remember that uh, Miss Scott is also keen to talk about her next project, which is um, shooting later in the summer. Ah, yes. Excellent. Excellent. Any horses in that one? Or hounds, for that matter. Our readers are equally intrigued by both species. It takes place on a submarine. Oh. Well, bad luck. But, um... If there were horses in it, would you be riding them, or would you be getting a, a stunt horse double man thing? I am a complete moron. I apologize. I, this is very weird. It's the sort of thing that happens in, in dreams, not in real life. Um, I mean, good dreams. It's, uh, it's a dream, in fact, uh, to see you again. What happens next in the dream? I suppose in the... Uh, Dream, dream scenario. I just uh, change my personality because you can do that in dreams and um, walk over and uh, kiss the girl. And, uh, Time's up, I'm afraid. Did you get what you wanted? Nearly, nearly. Well, maybe just one last question. Sure. <clears throat> right, right. Are you busy tonight? Yes. Right, right. Come in. Well, <clears throat> it was nice to meet you. Yes, and you. Surreal. Thank you. You are Horse and Hounds' favorite actress. Mm. You and Black Beauty. Tied. Hi. Hi. Um, yeah, so the, um, the thing I was doing tonight, I'm not doing anymore. I told them I had to spend the evening with Britain's premier equestrian journalist. <laughs> oh. Well, great. Fantastic. That's, uh... Oh. Shit, it's... Brickety, it's my sister's birthday. Shit. We're meant to be having dinner. Okay, that's fine. No. I'm sure I can get out of it. No, I mean, if it's fine with 
You will be your date. You, you'll be my date to my little sister's birthday party. If it's all right. Well, yeah, I'm sure it's all right. My friend Max is cooking, and he is generally acknowledged to be the worst cook in the world. But, um, you know, you could hide the food in your handbag or something. OK. OK. Yeah, so the, um, the, the thing I was doing tonight, I'm not doing anymore. I told them I had to spend the evening with Britain's premier equestrian journalist. <laughs> oh. Well, great. Fantastic. That's, uh, oh. Shit, it's Brickety, it's my sister's birthday. Shit, we're meant to be having dinner. Okay, that's fine. No, I'm sure I can get out of it. No, I mean, if it's fine with... You will be your date. You, you'll be my date to my little sister's birthday party. If it's all right. But yeah, I'm sure it's all right. My friend Max is cooking, and he is generally acknowledged to be the worst cook in the world. But um, you know, you could hide the food in your handbag or something. Okay. Okay. <laughs> 